hope she killed him. Hello everybody, it's your girl Jay, and today I am here with my August TBR for 2022. If you are new to this channel, then you don't know this, but my mom always picks my TBR, and she always has a fun little theme that goes along with the books that she chose. So this month's theme is double consonants. So without further ado, let us get started. The first book she chose is Double S, and it is for Obsession by Amanda Robson, and this one is a thriller book. It's about a woman who asked her husband who he would go for if he was given the chance and he ends up saying her best friend so shit starts to go down i'm assuming it's going to be like a jealous wife situation and i'm hoping somebody's gonna die i don't claim to be a normal person but i enjoy it the next book that she chose is a double L and it is Havenfall by Sarah Holland. I don't know too much about this other than it is a fantasy and it's about an inn that has magical powers. If you have ill intentions, you won't be able to find the inn, but if you are able to find the inn, it will provide you protection and somebody has broken the rules of the inn and shit's about to go down. I'm hoping, again, death will occur. I feel like in fantasy books somebody's gotta die in every single one of them so we're gonna see and hopefully it's not a character I end up liking because that's always the case. Whichever character I like best they always die. Next up is another double L book but it also has a double O but she said double consonants so it's fine. But it is The Spell Book of the Lost and Found by Moira Foley Doyle. I read the accident season. I believe I gave it a three out of five stars. So I'm hoping that I like this one a little bit better. I do know that a lot of people say this one is way better. This one has something to do with things going missing. It starts as little things like keys and wallets, things like that. But then bigger things start going missing like memories and people. So this girl finds a group of three people in an abandoned house and they have this spell book and it's to bring back the lost things and they recruit her to help them out with the spells and I'm assuming bad things are gonna happen. Don't know if anybody's gonna die but I know bad things are gonna happen. Next up is another double L book because apparently only double L books exist on my shelves but it is Small Spaces by Katherine Arden. This one is a middle grade book. It's spooky. A lot of people read it for readathons because it is so short. I am not reading it for a readathon obviously. I think that it's about this bus that breaks down and then like a spooky little person comes and does spooky things to the children. But R.L. Stein, the author of Goosebumps, says that it is terrifying and fun, so I trust the Goosebumps author, so I'm hoping that it is terrifying and fun. Next up is a double T, two times, so a double double T, and it is Pretty Little Wife by Darby Kane. This book follows a woman named Lila whose husband goes missing and she doesn't really care all that much. I'm assuming it's because she has something to do with it. So I think it's the investigation of what happened to him. It says there's more than one way to end a marriage so I'm hoping that she killed him but I guess we'll see when we read it. The next book that I have has been on my TBR a few times now and I have yet to read it because that seems to be the pattern with me is that my mother makes these TBRs and then I read like two books off of them. But that's besides the point. It is Soulless by Gail Carringer. This one is about aristocratic women who kill vampires. Or maybe they are the vampires. I think they kill vampires. The aristocratic women kill the vampires. They are not vampires. Maybe one of them will turn into a vampire, but I'm not sure. This one has pictures in it, and I say this every single time that I put this on my DVR. I'm so excited and I love books with pictures, so why I have not picked it up yet beyond me because they're so pretty and I am very intrigued to read it. Like aristocratic vampire killers, sign me up, but I've been signed up 6,000 times and still haven't read it. But you know what? This month is the month. I'm, go I'm gonna make a point of reading this one specifically. Next up is a double D and it is The Forbidden by Jodi Ellen Malapas. And this one is about a woman who has very bad luck in love until she meets a boy. And he says that he can rock her world and then he does rock her world. But the only problem is, is that he is forbidden. He says that he's very dangerous for her, so I'm hoping more death. Will that happen? Probably not. I'm sure this is just a sexy time book, but maybe 
somebody will die. Next up is another double S and this one is another one that has been on my TBR a thousand times and we have still yet to read it even though it is a booktube darling and I really should have read it by now but it is War Cross by Mary Lou. Everyone knows what this book is about so I don't feel like I need to give a synopsis but I am usually a big fan of like the hacker trope so I'm hoping that I really like this one. I do know that so many people have read it and loved it so I do have the full duology on my shelf so if I really like this one then I can just go into the second book no problem. So that's what we're hoping for. And then the final book is one that I am ashamed of because I'm pretty sure it was on my TBR last month and I did not read it, but it is a double end book and it is The Nanny by Gilly McMillan. This one, I feel like I don't need to give a synopsis because I've given it so many times on my channel, but it basically follows a woman whose nanny ends up leaving her. She's very upset about it because she loved that nanny as a child. Now 30 years later, she blames her mother and they have a very rocky relationship because of this and she starts asking questions. Why did the nanny leave me? And it's the story of that. I'm assuming the nanny got murdered, but we'll have to see. Alright everybody, so that is my August TBR for 2022. Will these books be read? I don't know because it's already August 7th and I have not read a single one of these. But you know, maybe this month will be the month that I actually pick up books from my TBR. We'll see. Let me know down below if you have read any of these books and what you thought of them and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!